Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon team. Big up on yourself. We are growing over on Patreon. Please ensure that you become a part of the PNL Patreon team for exclusive contents. Contents that we cannot show on YouTube. Just click on the link in the description below and sign up. Being a part of the PNL Patreon team is your way of supporting this movement. Now, today's video is brought to you by TT Tools. They are located at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. There is a sale now on on all items at TT Tools, up to 50% off. Now, take a look at some of the items that are available at TT Tools. And at the end of the stories, we are going to show you some more items. We are still driving in the parish of St. Elizabeth. So, keep looking on some of the items until we start today's journey. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey with me. Alright, so we are jar displaying TNT tools. You can get all of the things in where you want for your workshop, for your garage, anything at all. They have all kind of. Come talk to me there. This, 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 this is working out, you know? That's a giant. This is a giant. Yeah. Okay. Six inch giant. Six, eh? Six inch giant. Six inch. Yeah. Okay. They have a six inch giant there, so this 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 not table saw. Table saw this. Yeah. That's a plain and molder. Plain and molder. Yeah. 12 inch plain and molder. 12 inch bit. They use this in a while, you know, you know like. You can use a plain molder, you can use a molding strip and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, this can make molding strip too. Yeah. Okay. Like and this. Molding. Okay. And that's a band saw. Band saw. Where is everything they pass here? Yeah, everything they pass here. Uh, the, everything, oh, everything on sale. More stuff up to half price. Up to half price, yeah. alright. Yeah. And that is guaranteed. Yeah. No. Everything no, must go. No trick, no another thing. Because yeah. we are trying to sell out because we have a new, you see, we have a new container coming. Yeah, so, uh, new stock come. New stock come. Yeah, so and by the time, well, when the new stock comes, this, this sale is still a going. Yeah, still, still, still a going. Okay. So, the stuff, stuff in the new stock will go for sale. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Have a okay. This is what? That's a um, gel press. Gel press? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a shaper. Shaper? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Almost the same. Like the plain water. Okay. Okay. Now, let me address something. Let me address something. In the video we posted this morning, there was a story in it and many persons were upset. It was the story of a guy. Well, I had said that his name was Riku, but I am now learning that his name is Rikov James. Rikov is 28 years old. He is living at Smithfield in the parish of Westmoreland. I told you that Rikov, he was arrested and charged for sexually assaulting an 18-year-old female. I have been contacted by many persons. Some persons, they have commented on the video and they are stating that Rikov was set up and I carried Fake news. No, I did not carry fake news. Go back and listen to what I said in the video. It would have been fake news if Rikov was not arrested and charged by the police. But the truth is, yes, he was arrested and charged. And as of right now, he is still in jail. He will be going to the court in Savannah Lamar on Tuesday, January 3. Some persons, they are saying that the allegations are false. That does not make the report I carried fake news. But hear this now. Hear this now. I reported that the allegations are that the incident took place on Rikov's birthday on September 11, 2022. Well, that is partially correct. What I am now understanding is that the incident allegedly took place two years ago. 2020. Not 2022 and you can say all way you want to say i will not be the one presenting the allegations in court so when the case is called up on tuesday the allegation that will be read is that the incident took place on september 11 2020 that is what is being alleged 
by the female who made the report. You know, I will say no more on this one. All of you who are coming at me, hold your horses. I am not trying the case. All I am doing is stating the allegation. All right? Are the allegations. Now, in this incident, this one took place yesterday afternoon, Thursday, December 29, 2022, about 4.30. It took place at Up Street in Belmont, in the parish of Westmoreland. What we are learning is that the police, they conducted a raid at a bar. During a search, some packaged parcels of ganja were found in a bag under the counter in the bar. It is said that the ganja, it weighed about one pound. As a result, the bartender was arrested and charged by the police for one, possession of ganja and two, dealing in ganja. Her name is Jana Nelson. She is 41 years old and like I said, she is the bartender in the bar. She is living at Up Street in Belmont in the parish of Westmoreland and she will be going to the courts shortly. Now, what I just read or what I just told you have nothing to do with whether or not I believe she should be charged. All I told you were the allegations. All right? Now, this next incident, it took place Wednesday night, December 28, 2022, about some minutes after 8 o'clock. It took place at Tank Hill in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. What we are learning is that the police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid. It is said that during a search, a disassembled Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol with the serial number intact was found submerged in a container with oil outside in the yard. A 26-year-old man who was at the yard at the time, he was taken into custody by the police. If and when this man is charged, we'll be giving you his name. But congratulations to the Negril police for acting on this intelligence and recovering this illegal weapon. And Enough respect to the intelligencers for passing on the intelligence to the police. Job well done. Now, this next incident, it took place on the morning of Monday, October 24, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It took place at a district named Mahogany in Mount Carey in the parish of St. James. We are learning that two men. One of them, his name is Omar Stevenson, but he's popularly known as Weed Ants. Yeah man, Weed Ants. He is 35 years old and it is said that he cut yards. He live in the same mahogany area. Weed Ants and a 65-year-old farmer of the same area. For years now, they have been involved in conflicts. On the morning of October 24, both of them, they were having one of their many arguments. It is alleged that Weed Ants, he had a machete. It is alleged that he threw a stone hitting the 65-year-old man to his left side, causing a wound. It is further alleged that we dance. He then rushed towards the man with the machete. He allegedly made one chop at the 65-year-old farmer's head. The farmer, he raised his left hand to block the attack. As a result, he got a serious chop to his left hand. We are told that his left hand was almost taken off. The 65-year-old farmer, he was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital and he had to be transferred to the Falmouth Hospital in Trelawney, where he was admitted in a serious condition. We are told that an emergency surgery was done in an attempt to save his left hand. That hand, we are told that it is now deformed. Well, over the weekend, the police, they carried out an operation and we dance, he was picked up. As a result, he was arrested and charged for causing grievous bodily harm and he'll be going to the courts shortly this next incident it took place yesterday morning thursday december 29 2022 almost 10 30. it took place at my hall in Reading, in the parish of st james what we are learning is that two men both of them they are in their mid 30s and both of them they are due to tour bus operators they are living in the parish of st james it is said that both men, they were sitting on the roadside having a conversation when a guy, well, we are told that this guy, he's known as Adrian. He's living in the same Moyal area. It is said that Adrian, he pulled a gun 
from his waistband and he opened gunfire at both men. One of the men, he is known as Floyd. He was hit in his mouth and the other man, his surname is Thompson. He received bullet wounds to his right thigh. Adrian, he then made good his escape. Both men, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where they were treated and admitted. The mayhem. Now, last week, Monday, December 19, I posted a video on this channel. If you look on your screen, that is the thumbnail for the video. The title was, Larry and Birch Wanted for Janzal Funeral Mayhem. Someone made this comment. The person said, Night guys, the story no add up. Everything but the story mix up and full of lies. I don't know Larry as no bad man or gunman. And why would he and Birch wait until it was funeral time to retaliate when they knew where to find cousin Isis all along? Rubbish. Oh no, are wicked. I honestly don't see where the story makes any sense. Larry, a good youth. Uno just want to find something, fi pin pan him and the next youth. So I responded, Uno defend criminality too much. Tell me, one criminal who was always a bad youth. Weren't they all good youths at one stage? Were you at the funeral? Why not tell him to go give up himself before coming here to chat Texas manure? God no, me ignorant for no fauno. <laughs> yeah man, trust me you know. <laughs> Why me at anyhow? Someone responded, she not defending criminals, but you guys must get your stuff right before start publishing. ISIS live next door to Larry, and they are not cousin. You need to blog about the incident, then go to Janzal and get some info. <laughs> no. <laughs> All this was in relation to an incident that took place at a funeral at John's Hall on Sunday, November 20, 2022, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you missed that video, I implore you to go back and watch it. There is a lot of information in it. Well, guess what? Guess what? On Sunday, December 25, Christmas Day, 22-year-old O'Brien Hunter otherwise called Birch. He was held by the police. He has since been charged for two counts of murder, wounding with intent and shooting with intent. Good youth Lorenzo Walters, also known as Larry, he's still being sought by the police. <laughs> you see, by now, you know, by now, you should have known that this channel is built on carrying the truth. This channel is built on reporting facts. We go above and beyond to get our stories. We are not here saying that Birch and Larry are guilty of anything. What we said was that they were wanted for the offense. And Birch, he was held and charged. So what that means? That no means he was wanted? Eh? <laughs> Why may I tell you? By the way, by the way, let me ask you something. <laughs> Let me ask you know, something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done it, remember to do so. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, St. James Police. Montego Bay Police. Please check this out. Find out which female was it that that man on your screen bought a Toyota Voxy and gave her to do her hustling. Well, the man's name is Mr. Lismore Williams. He was born on September 17, 1944. He was 78 years old. Mr. Williams, he operated a cook shop and he managed the operations at the Montego Bay Transport Center. So, Montego Bay Police, check out who it was. Which female was it? It is said that Mr. Williams, he bought a vaccine and he gave it to a female who he was involved with to operate. It is said that he was now demanding back the vaccine. Now, I am not here saying 
That's the reason why he was killed. But St. James Police, check that out. So, yesterday afternoon, Thursday, December 29, 2022, about 2 o'clock, Mr. Williams, he was sitting in his cook shop when a hoodlum walked up behind him. Bam! One bullet to the back of Mr. Williams' head. The hoodlum, he then walked away and he made good his escape up Hart Street. From all indication, that one bullet was enough to take out Mr. Williams. The police were called and when they processed this crime scene, one 9mm pen shell was recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. So, let's now take a look at some more of the tools that are available on sale at TT Tools at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. No, this is a chop chop of steel. Okay. So like this now, you see, normally that sell if you much. Normally you that sell this you like both. 55. 55? Yeah, Somebody come along then you can get if you like them. Yeah, yeah, 40. All 40, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We have all kind of drill and... Yeah, circle and saw. Mm -hmm. Impact. Mm -hmm. Socket impact. Oh, that's a socket, socket ink pack. Yeah. It's a thirty-six thousand dollar panda. So if somebody come much, then can get it. Right, no, you can get it. Yeah, twenty. All twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't buy that. Uh, can't buy panda. Yeah, and grind and sell it. And grind. Mhm. Mm what else do you have? Waka, steel waka. Uh huh. Tile cutter, yes, sir. Water pump, that. Yeah. Oh, the drop it was now a river and just pump water. Okay. Okay. Power wash that. Okay. Yeah, blower, yes, sir. What, what's this? Compressor. Compressor, okay. Okay. Yeah, bicycle. Bicycle. Yes, yes, bicycle. <laughs> eh? You have gas bicycle? bicycle? Yeah, which part is it? Yes, oh, this? Yeah? yeah? yeah so you just throw your gas on, on right? Yeah, so you have to pedal it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedal it off, engine, kick it. How much this I go for? Yeah, this is 30,000, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drop the price, man. Oh, the price drop on that, so all right. So just call and get your bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah man, enough people see I ride them bicycle, yeah, you know. <laughs> and they travel fast too, you know. Yeah man, me realize, me realize, me realize. Mm. We still have bicycle and fit up the same way. You know? Yeah, bicycle and fit up over here, so see. Yeah. Create a bicycle and it's same again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bicycle, now create ya. Yeah. Okay. So fit up liquid liquid. I see one saw ya, so I want to tell me something about that saw ya. Where, where you use a saw ya, you know? That saw ya, no, it's a table saw. Okay. He was from 12 inch right up to 16 inch blade. Okay. Yeah, it's a sliding table saw. Okay. You can put like a whole sheet of plywood. Pli and just and slide it on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a Delta. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, man. Delta brand. Mm. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. We have a, we have a welding plant. A welding plant, yes. We have a big welding plant. Oh, we're not back there? Yeah. It's alright, nothing we can, we can Okay. Okay. So, so, so like, like a welder? Yeah. Okay. It's like, like, you know, this tree's so big, mm -hmm. it feel like a garage where they do whoop up. Whoop up a welding? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. And okay. uh, you have good price for that same yeah, way? Yeah, good price for it, same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Right about your discipline. The past the second gas station on the left hand side. If you have a green chill. Yeah. All kind of thing. All kind of sex accessory. Yeah. I know we have, we have a few of them camera they do. Yeah, yeah, you have camera for safety? Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of them camera? Yeah? yeah. Okay. 
Them came out there like uh, yeah, you can't see anywhere in the world and watch them as yes, long as you have internet. Yeah man, now mm. you have internet. Yeah. Wi-Fi, you know. Yeah. I I I I I use for my phone. Yeah, yes, yes. When you go on you see it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah man. Yeah. Yeah man, so call are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get anything what you want. I'm gonna go around the phone. Give me, you have the phone number in your head? <laughs> Get the phone number and call. Run it. 876. 876. 887. 887. 8741. 876. 887. 8741. Call TT2s. Anything at all you want. Alright, we can give you our next number too. Yeah. Uh, 876. 876, the next number, 876. 332. 332. 7180. 7180. Yeah. Uh, George is playing. Everything where you want. Everything where you can think of. You want special order stuff? Yeah. Yeah, man, get it quick, quick. Yeah. All right. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. About Papa News Link. Papa News Link. And PNL Blog TV. PNL Blog TV. Like. Subscribe and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, private a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica a mash up. Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of 